Hi, my name is Mech, and I'm a Minecraft texture pack maker with over five years of texture pack making experience. And today, I want to share with you a new method of texture pack me of well shading your texture packs that that I have learned from some of my friends uh, over the past two years. And I want to share it with you guys, so you guys can try it out for your own. And if you if you like texture packs that look like some of my texture packs that I've used with it, such as uh, Mech and Feta Moses 32x with my friend Moses that I did release last month, and some other packs by my friend Achill, who kind of introduced me to this method. Um, he's made packs like I'll show them on the screen because I can't, I can't like, <laughs> I can't do it off the top of my head. But he is the one who sort of showed me how to do this style of texture pack making and i would like to share it with you guys so you can try it out for your own and make some cool packs with it so yeah without further ado let's go first step about this method is that oh eh, are you watching just manage to make sure you're watching i just want to say one thing before this whole video starts um if you enjoyed the video make sure like and subscribe because i'm trying to hit that 100k because um I want that silver play button, you know, you know, I want that. I need it. I need it. I need it. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> seriously, I just want to hit, I want to, you know, be able to hit 100K. So uh, you can help that out by liking, subscribing the video, sharing around. Uh, make sure this gets some traction or something. Uh, turn notifications on or something because I don't know if my videos even go out to people anymore. Uh, so just help me out any way you can. And uh, thanks. This is only possible through. Well, as far as I know, this method I'm going to show you is possible through the application known at, called Paint.net, which is what a lot of pack makers use, or well, a few use Photoshop, but, but I use Paint.net to make my texture packs, and this is a plugin for that application. So first thing you want to do is download Paint.net. So Paint.net is a free image editing software, I guess, and that I use for my packs. So first thing you want to do is we're going to get paint.net. And you're gonna go to the download tab. Uh, we get rid of ads because this is free. So, and once you get here, you're going to go to the download.pdn button here. And this is, as long as you don't click any ads, this should be safe. Don't click anything out of here. Don't click anything there. Click only within these boxes, which is the official download from Paint.net. So you're gonna go download that and then go through the installer and all that to get into your computer okay if you, and if you need extra steps on or a tutorial on how to download this um this isn't really the video for that so you can go find it on youtube and, the video. and now the next step is installing this this plugin uh well this plugin pack by pyro child which uh contains the gradient mapping um plugin so i'm gonna link this here and this is a paint down at forum. So this is where you can download it. So I think what you would do here is you either download this one to get the installer file directly. Yeah, you'll get the installer file and then you just, you know, double click that and all that to install it. And it should be appear in paint.net, open it up to whatever your texture or whatever. Then you go to adjustments and then it's going to be right here called gradient mapping and this is what it'll look like how this works is you have to create a palette which will go onto your texture and you can do that by inserting things here like for instance there different uh, colors and shades uh, so it's just, it's just as simple as clicking somewhere uh, clicking onto this color uh, well I guess this will be your gradient this is the great this right here is the gradient that will be going onto your texture and i have a bunch of these but these are from my friends so i don't know if i can share these with you guys but basically it'll look like something like it'll your your palette will look like this it's like making a palette for i guess any other kind of pixel art i gotta re-record how i actually show you how to use the grid gradient mapping on the texture because uh my original recording had my face cam covering the thing so retry so here you are at your shaded texture this isn't exactly how i shade anymore but this is basically where you'll be you have step one your shape and then step two your shaded white canvas texture sort of and three 
you're gonna go do it you're gonna as I showed earlier you're gonna go do adjustments and then gradient mapping and then you are going to create your great either create your gradient uh let me see there we go make your gradient real quick you can make it here double click onto the um onto the I don't know what this is called but it's this line that's at the top of it and this is where you'll cho then you'll choose your color uh basically make a gradient of like a lighter color to descending into a darker color um yeah do whatever you need to for that and then you can adjust it and see how it sort of changes where the colors are in the item or your texture <laughs> so we have that and that or you if you already have uh some palettes made like i do this is for my friend moses um you can always you can just load one of these up like this one well that's not actually what i want uh this one you can load you can just click it and it'll load up and you can also change it from here if need be so i can do that i can make it a little bit lighter on the inside you just play it around until you get the color that you like same thing with this switch it up a little bit and uh stuff like that and uh yeah that's basically how you use gradient mapping i'm doing really bad at keeping this video all in one go but basically if you find a gradient that you like uh like for example let me just make a gradient like that uh if you just make a gradient like that and you let and you want to keep that for future use you go to cuss you press this when it says custom and then you can save your current preset and then you type in your name blah 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 and it's saved and then you can just gotta find it uh what i call it and you could just find it right there and it'll be there and if you want to import a um gradient that someone already made for you you can press manage presets and then it should open up a folder it should open up a folder it should open up a folder hello it should open up a folder. okay well the folder's been weird but this is a it opens up a folder that's right here your documents paint on easier effects presets and then it's right here and you can just drag and drop somebody's um, file into here so yeah and this works on any item any any kind of texture you can even use it to recolor by loading up a Let's see if I have a gold thing here. You can use it to recolor any of your textures by just simply grayscaling them so they're like that, and then maybe adjusting the lightness level and then loading the gradient onto it. So, yeah, that's basically it. And that's the gradient mapping tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Help me hit 100k. Great to see that happen. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.